you've probably seen videos, but nothing like this. But we are not only showing you a video in first person, we are showing you how to make one. Bum 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 when making these videos, you want to make sure the camera is positioned around your zygomatic bone and the supraorbital ridge. Yay! In the event that you position it incorrectly during the filming process, you will need to keep that footage and show it at the end of the video for bloopers. Lesson 2. Using Weapons while making these videos, they will most likely involve weapons and violence in certain conditions. An airsoft gun is usually the most effective. It can be quite useful to take out your actors. In the case the gun no longer functions, you can always take to other items such as... A, a sword of some type and a poopa scoopa. Also, a one pound dumbbell. A toothbrusher. Oh, he cleaned up some crime. And even a gum pack. Oh. And the camera itself. Oh. And a banana. Is the only exception. Usually these items will be held on the right side of you, so make sure the camera is held with the opposite hand. Lesson 3. The scene and sound effects. You can use anything you like, but make sure the surrounding area makes sense when it comes to the story. Do not use an area such as a basement for a skit involving killing people during afternoon tea. This would sound good for a scene involving a scary video of some sort, possibly. But remember to be as creative as you possibly can. Be sure to make the sound effects realistic. Bam, bam, bam. Bonk. Bonk. Pew. Bang, bang, bang. Don't use sounds that aren't related to the item of use. Moo, moo, moo. Oink, oink. Ba. Lesson four. The final preparation. Always make fake bloopers so you don't seem too perfect. Was I supposed to die? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Now you just need to edit your video and upload it, and you're done. That's the end. Thank you. Everybody makes mistakes! That really didn't work. <laughs> Why?
Okay, that was a failure. <laughs>